All right, today I'm going to be working on my LG French Star refrigerator. It's got um, ice building up in the bottom of the uh, refrigerator. I've already got it all cleaned out. But anyway, this down here was uh, pretty much filled up with ice. And so more than likely what I've got is a block uh, drain line, I guess. And now what's causing that, I don't know. But um, so I'm getting ready to do it. I've already got the freezer out. i got it turned off. Um, have to take let me take this unit off here and there's a couple of screws uh, on each side here we put that in there and we take that out and it allows us to pull the pull this uh, piece off okay got the screws off the next thing we're going to do is uh, pull this door up and then pull it out much like you do a drawer on your uh, out of your uh, chest of drawers kind of thing uh, just be sure that the the door is all the way out before you start this and we'll do that and then we'll have to take this middle unit off and um, show you how to do that here shortly all right so the next thing i said get ready to move this um, center rail and to get there is a up under it's going to get down on the floor and right up under here there's a little plastic tab there that you have to push that in and when you do this thing will slide out okay this whole metal piece that you see over there that slides out and the ultimate goal is we've got to get back in here and take these this back off these screws here thankfully my unit has the ice maker in the door so I don't have to worry about that but anyway what we're trying to get to is back here and there's a drain line located probably somewhere back in behind here that we think is causing the problem so i'm sure once you get in there we'll find uh, ice build up and all but more on that later so anyway let you know that's how we get this piece off okay let me show you what i did after i got my screws out i just put uh, this right here on the front of it and pry it out and then this comes out uh, just like the other one did okay so now, what I'm really hoping is I don't have to take this side out, but we'll see. So I'm just going to continue to uh, pull this apart uh, best I can, carefully. But it's, uh, again, it's a lot like automobiles this day and age. It's just plastic pieces that are um, holding things together. With, so you just want to be careful not to break any of that. But uh, anyway, I'm going to use, you have to keep both my hands. I'm by myself, so I can't run the camera and do it all at the same time, but I'll pick back up here once I get this out of here. Okay, we got that bad boy out. Um, just kept pulling on it. There are a couple of um, wire plugs back here. That plug end up here. And um, other than that, the whole thing comes right off. So as you can see, there's some ice up in there. So we want to get to all of that and get to our drain plug, which I'm hoping is down that way somewhere. And uh, let me get this out of here and more later. Okay, I've um, got all the ice off of the uh, coils in, in, in the freezer. So now I've moved to the back of the uh, unit. And so this is the... Um, drain line here sitting just to the side of this condenser and so it's supposed to be draining down into here and there is water in the bucket there but not a whole lot but there is some in there so I uh, suspect I've got ice all the way up into here uh, as well so I'm gonna try to thaw that out and then I'm gonna also clean all these coils off while I get this thing apart so it's been a while looks like and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll put it back together, hopefully, here shortly. And if I run into any problems, I will let you know. All right, a quick, um, quick update. I've um, been unplugged about an hour now, so I <clears throat> was able to get all the ice out. There was uh, quite a bit, as you can imagine, you know, up under here. So that, uh, gotten all that out. Uh, the water is draining out uh, fine now. So I've run some um, bleach water uh, down in there as well, just to uh, 
Yeah, you know, in case that might have been the problem. There's always the, the worry of what caused the problem. Was it, um, you know, did we leave the door open too much or is the seal getting bad or is something else going on? So this is kind of the first step, do a really good clean out and then put it all back together and see what happens. And hopefully that takes care of the problem. But if it comes back, then we know maybe you have some seal issues or something, too much moisture in there, too much air. All right. Okay, now back here on the back side, I have um, got the uh, condenser all cleaned up. And I have happened to bring in my little air compressor and just blew air up in there. I can't get anything up in up in those wires to to do anything else. Uh, as you can see, all the water down in here now. Little, so it's pretty pretty full of of water because I ran quite a bit through there when I put my bleach water through. So. Um, that will eventually dry out or if you want to get it out of there you can just uh, you know do that by either dry back vacuum cleaner or uh, just put some paper towels in there and suck up as much as you can and the rest of it the, the air from this fan will will uh, will dry it up eventually I may try to get some of that or since I put so much in there but um, uh, anyway so that's that. I'm going to uh, put the back on here and then I'll put the door on and we'll fire this bad boy back up and hope everything works. 